Hello everyone, this is My Gaming Life, and today will be a tutorial covering how to generate vegetation. Alright, so if we uh we play it, we'll see we have grass. Yep. Looks pretty nice. Really good, really good. There's a tree. Um, I'll show you how to import uh, or at least uh, generate trees. Um, yep, that's what we're gonna learn today. And uh, it's just a table model that I created in Blender and imported. Um, in addition to that box. So, without further ado. Uh, Let's get started. So, <clears throat> you want to go over to terrain, vegetation, okay? And um, so this is the uh, the objects that uh, you can choose to to generate or to paint with. So as you can see, it uh it disappears as I uncheck each uh each object each corresponding object, okay? And um, so the way this works is you, you're painting these objects okay and you choose an object which I'll show you in a minute and you select the object that you would like to paint with and just press paint and uh, let's go over here let's move over I'm gonna increase the brush size well not that large about there and as you can see it's just generating grass closer you get there's gla uh, grass excuse me and we have different options over here different types of grass bending grass um, you can dead grass if you want to um, but yeah that's how it works so again if you're in uh, you see the roll up bar right here you have objects you have terrain you have modeling um, hide by categories and other settings and you have layer settings so we want to go to terrain okay and then under vegetation okay and when you have an object that you would like to select okay so I'm going to delete everything here go to remove category okay and one, it, it updates in real time so once you delete the objects um, they will be deleted on the corresponding level so as you can see, I have no, um, I have no uh, vegetation now. Okay, so if we want to create vegetation, we go on the terrain, click vegetation, and we're going to click add vegetation object. This is the object that we want to paint with. We want to paint this object all over the map. And before I go any further, I will say that. The vegetation in this tutorial we have the woodland asset package okay so you're going to want to download that it has all the 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 forest objects grass objects um logs things of that nature anything the, the typical things you find in a forest this asset package carries those those objects okay so um you won't be able to uh, have the same results I have or have the objects I have without downloading the woodland asset package and that's on the Amazon uh, lumberyard website so make sure you download that before um, following this tutorial okay so we're going into uh, our assets we're, we're gonna import the objects that we want to paint with so we're going to click when the it'll it'll open the default sample projects folder okay we're going to click objects natural and here you have your options bushes ground rocks trees okay we're going to choose ground you have field grass forest grass forest ground grass grass tall bulrush i'm going to choose forest grass i've never done forest grass and you just select which one you want and it'll populate over here okay so you just select 
the object that you want to paint with and click paint objects and your brush will show and from there you simply you simply hold down the left mouse button and it's that simple that easy yes it's that easy very helpful tool so let's say we want to add more objects okay well we'll go back into objects under natural um, ground let's go with grass tall bending grass so make sure you highlight the object you just imported because it won't it won't automatically highlight it'll it'll bring it branch it under these um, this hierarchy you just select the one you just imported and then you have a different type of grass you have a different type you just spray around you know, just different types of vegetation so it's really simple it's really all there is to it um, just gonna get it all over everywhere okay now one thing you can do that's very very um, interesting and, and useful is you can add a category and a category will group all of the objects you choose it will group them under one umbrella so I'm going to say I'm gonna call this vegetation and then you can simply highlight the ones you want to uh, be compiled under this category and just drag and drop just like that just drag and drop so there you go drag and drop and the interesting thing about this is if you just choose to uh, paint objects if you select the overarching folder as you can see we have these within the the vegetation category you can simply click paint objects while highlighting the category the overarching category and it'll paint all of those objects that are within that category as you can see it is, it's it's giving us the forest grass and the regular tall grass and it, and it paints all that at one time and that's when you select the overarching uh, category that you've created and you place those objects within that category so yeah so I mean it's really simple it's really simple definitely will prove helpful in a lot of projects um, one last thing I'm gonna try is uh, going to import uh, the trees a tree let's see a jungle tree jungle tree large this should be fun. Click jungle tree and boom, the trees appear. Just like that. Just like that. I'm gonna play this, but I know the frame rate is gonna be extremely extremely low with the video capture. <laughs> but yeah. But there you go guys, that's all there is to it. So uh you can create forest levels with relative ease just by using the paint tool and just painting your objects painting the vegetation that you would like into your level um, obviously it doesn't look as pretty as it could you know you gotta put some time and effort to it to make it look like uh, look the way you want it to look you know but for this tutorial it suffices you know so that's really all there is to it and uh, yep yeah. again um, you depending on the objects you import you can you can create your own grass in a program like blender texture it and everything like that and import your own grass model and you can use your grass model for the for for the objects for painting i'll have a tutorial on how to um import your grass objects and how to paint them if you can't figure it out on your own um that's why i'm here so yeah I, would, I really wish I could have uh, made it look better for you guys. And like I said, you got to spend time with it to make it look the way you want to. But um, I like the I like I just the tool is so helpful. I'm definitely going to be using it for my project, and um, just wanted to share that with you guys. So yeah, and that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.